What do you think of when you hear the word JE? Do you think about what rank you're targeting? Did your sibling or neighbor go to an awesome college through this exam? And you know, you're also expected to do the same thing. The thing is, all of these are short-lived things that you just have to push through as a student. The exam itself has a more long-term effect and it's all about you more than anyone else. The goal is to train your mind and body to give it the best shot. So, what do you think? Is the JE a tough exam? Everything new feels tough and I gotta admit, there's a lot of hype around the test. The key idea is to break everything complex out into smaller bits and then analyze each bit. Then, we just gotta do them one step at a time and not think about the next step. The first step, you must get enough sleep and you should eat well and take sufficient breaks. All the questions in the JE exams look really difficult and so does the syllabus just because it's so vast. But remember, this is a marathon and not a sprint. You have a lot of time to go through the concepts in detail. Your goal, the first one, must be the NCRT books. Do go through them in as much detail as you can. If you like studying in the mornings, do that every day as a routine. If you're nocturnal, that's fine too. But stick to one time every day. That's really, really important. The next step is to figure out your strengths and make sure that those concepts are rock solid. Now, you've been giving exams for a really long time, almost for over a decade now. So you're really good at these. Remember, this is a multiple choice question test and there's negative marking too. And like the school exams, you don't even have to score 100%. You know, even if you get like a 60 or 70%, you're guaranteed to get a seat in a college of national repute. If you talk to any person with experience of giving tests like these, all of them will tell you the same thing. You know, that they absolutely regret losing marks to negative marking. Luckily, you have us to tell you that only mark questions that you're absolutely sure about. Um, the risk is just not worth it, you know, by making a guess even if it's an educated guess. The thing is, you need to pick out some chapters that are generally, generally tested and then get a decent amount of practice on them. The first stop for practice has to be last year papers. I cannot stress on this enough. The J Advanced exam seems to be a lot more difficult than the main paper just because it has uh, many different types of questions. And it's also concept-based. That's the main thing. Let me walk you through a cool question that seem really, really difficult initially, but they have a trick and you can solve them really quickly because of that. Let's do a chemistry question now. Are you comfortable with organic chemistry? This question is gonna give you a lot more confidence than you had before. Here you see there are four compounds, okay? They're all carbon compounds. And there's scary schemes over here, just looking at them. Uh, anyway, so there are four schemes and then you have some products. Look at the options. This is a match the column type of question. Let's backtrack stuff. The products, all of them are benzene substituted compounds that have nitro groups in them. The first product, that has seven carbons. That means that this is toluene substituted. Look at the first reagents that we started off with, with acetylene and all that. There's only one compound, nitro toluene, that has that group, that extra carbon, right? The C, seven, H, H, whatever. So I think this <clears throat> matches with that. And you know what, just by using that, look at the options, we are pretty sure that the answer is C. But you know what, I'm gonna go one step further and also prove that this reasoning was correct. Look at acetylene. The famous rea reaction with iron rod heating it to a high temperature, polymerization forming benzene. You start with that, follow that up with double nitration, then diazotization, it's a tough word to get out of your mouth. After that, well, hydrolyze it and you get uh, meta-nitrophenol. That matches up well also with option C. So that's the correct answer. I don't even have to solve the entire question. So there you go. That was a quick trick for organic chemistry. It's needless to say that there's no scope of last minute cramming in any of these tests. They are marathons, remember, and not sprints. You must develop a healthy routine and stick to it for the best experience and the best results. Your frame of mind plays a huge factor while giving any test. Which is why I'm repeating that you must take good rest and take sufficient breaks while studying for this exam or any exam that you are targeting. 
to answer the question, is the JE exam tough? Sure, at first, but so is running a marathon. With sufficient training, you can do both and excel at them too. Our goal is to help you to get to whatever your goal is and at your own personalized pace. All the best.